Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome to the demo of Demolish and Build 2018. This is a game that I have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. And I have been given access to the demo to, to the demolition to the demo. The demo of the demolition game. This is going to be so cool. Some of the um the, the little videos and stuff that have come out for it so far, the trailers and that have been absolutely brilliant. So let's just go and take a look here. Contracts. Contracts are a good source of cash in jobs. Menu escape. You can check available contracts to accept the job interact site or sign. Right. Uh, next. Nope. Close. Okay. So. Um, as tutorials. We want to take and... Oh, so we go up to the sign up here like this. And... No, I don't want to click on it. Take and accept. How, how do I get it? How do I get it? I want to go... I want to go forward. I want to go forward. I want to... Oh, interact is F. Press F. We're changing this old casino into a restaurant before we can start redecorating. We have to have some walls removed. Except, did it just say reward five dollars? Dollar uh, five dollars is not a great deal. That's that's not a huge amount of cash. Uh, there's a car over here. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that we could break the window. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. Okay, so we've got a good open world. We've got um, various bits and pieces that you can walk around. I like having it quite open. That is always good. For me, it's always, always a big bonus having anything that's open and able to be walked through. Uh, demolish, 12 meters. So demolish over here. Two meters. One meter. I'm guessing this wall here. How do I demolish? I'm trying to demolish. Maybe I'm, <laughs> I might actually be demolishing the wrong stuff. Let's go outside. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll go around and we'll go outside and we'll see what it does out there. Um, there's anything out this way, maybe. We've got load over there. Take out. Oh, take out. You know, it would help if I actually read the tips up in the top right hand corner. Contract preparation. Take out the chairs to the container. Remove the electric wires. And you've got various tools. One, two, three is empty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They're all empty. So I need to take the chairs out. So if I come over to here and I see. Right. So if I press two again. Ah, uh, right. So you, you've got some middle icons. You can just see the icons there just on the side over there. So uh, WASD is move. Worker senses is R. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty groovy. And yes, I did just use the word groovy. And I realized that it is not the 60s. Um, I wasn't alive in the 60s. I am bringing, I'm, I'm making it, I'm, I'm bringing it back. Groovy is making a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Is it the 60s or the 70s or 80s, I think, may have been groovy when it was at its heyday. But we, we are bringing it back. We are definitely bringing it back. Groovy is, yeah. Groovy is this. That is groovy. That is very groovy. I love it. Um, right. E has these changing over. How do I pick up the stool? That interacts with it. If I do that. New tutorial worker senses. Let's do this. Use worker senses default R to highlight tasks, objects. You can also show which part of the building is most vulnerable. Oh, that's that one. Okay, close. Uh, how do I pick up the chair? That's just having me hit the chair. I need to be able to pick the chair up and move it. Maybe. Oh, no. Q doesn't do it either. Q and E are doing that. Space has you jump. F, oh, F to interact, right. You have to press F to interact with it and then you can carry it round. So um, you go up to it like that, you press F and then you bring this one along. We bring it out here and load into here. And you drop that into the skip. Like that. Uh, no, F, F to interact. And then, oop, over this way. There we go, right, now I've let go of it. Okay, that's good, let's, can we go in this way? I cannot go in this way. Right. So we go back through here and we grab the next chair. We go up to that one and we F that one as well. There we go. And we bring this one out. So we've got four of these that we've just got to go in and we've got to pick up and we've got to bring out. So we can drop that one down in there. And then we go out. So we've got two out to the container. There's one over there hiding down in the corner. We've got to remove the electric wires next. I'm not quite sure how you remove electric wires. We'll find out in just a moment. 
Let's go and grab this last chair. There it is, hiding over there in the back. The final chair. Task done. Now, remove the electric wires. Where are the electric wires? We go over to here. So if, if, if I go there to demolish, I'm not actually seeing electric wires anywhere. Um, oh, I see. Right, right there. Uh, if I press F, does that... Oh, that, it does. It actually breaks them out. And then I think i got to press it again to... Do I interact with them again? Oh, no. I've literally just got to go up to each one and I press F to interact. I don't think I've even got to hit them with a hammer. You can't hit them with a hammer. You've just got to interact with them and, um, and split it apart like that. So we want to come over here and get these last ones down there like that. There we go. Contract demolition task done. That would be why it was only $5. Right, so now we've got the next contract, demolition. Uh, demolish inside walls 0 of 89. Demolish the lion statues on the roof 0 of 26. How do I get on the roof? Okay. Uh, uh, right, so you can scroll through using the mouse as well to different items. Ah, uh, there we go. There's always a way. There is always a way. So let's get up on here. I want to demolish these lion statues. This is why we are here. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you very much. This is brilliant. This is awesome. We are smashing stuff with a hammer. You know that this is why you're watching this episode. It's so you can see the lions being destroyed. Let's go around this side. Let's get a closer view of him. Hey there, Mr. Lion. Uh, ah. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> that is fantastic. There's bits of lion all over the floor. <laughs> Look at it all, just lying around. Yeah, it had to be. It had to be said. You, you know, it had to be said. You know? <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing? Just lying around. Um, I, no, don't fall down again. I want to stand. I want to stand on this wall. Can I stand? Steady, steady, steady. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. I'm standing on the wall, looking at the lion. Because I want to be at this angle. When I do that, yes. Look at it go. Go, lion, go. This is beautiful. It's wonderful. I, it was worth it. It was definitely worth the wait. There we go. Task done. I have demolished the lion. That was fantastic. That was beautiful. Right. Now, we have more to do. If I do the r like this. We've got a load of walls there. We've got a wall at the back as well that we want to take out. That one's got to go. So I oh, see it's brilliant. The plaster comes off and then the wall. And I love the way that it does do this in big chunks as well. Look, we're, we're, we're properly smacking this one to pieces. Completely smacking it abroad. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm loving this. This game is going to be one that I am going to thoroughly enjoy playing when it comes out in all its full glory the whole release everything all together right there is everything on that bit we've got some more walls over here there's two sections here i'm gonna wallop that in the middle look at that look at the way that the plaster comes off the outside first that's fantastic and it does it in section it's brilliant the plaster actually breaks off then you wallop your way through it and yeah it's a good idea to hit the top bit first because it's um but it's safer than smacking out the bottom and then having the wall land on top of you. I believe I've mentioned this in playing um, House Flipper. But this, this is what I've been waiting for. I have been waiting a long time to do this. I am so happy. I really am. I cannot begin to describe the feeling of just awesomeness as we begin to utterly destroy the casino. Now, we've got uh, a few more bits. So we, we do have to get right down to the ground and just destroy the rest of this. And there'll be a few more bits to do as well. I wonder how long this demo is going to let us play for. How much are we going to see? Tasks done. We have done that bit. It's all finished. What next? All tasks done. All. Uh, all tasks are done. Press enter to finalize. There we go. We are changing this whole casino into a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finalize. All finished, task done, reward $5, bonus $210. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, we did $5, but a bonus for $210 for expertly wielding our hammer. Thank you very much. Right, what's next? Incoming call, press enter to answer. I just got a call from the client. Did you? I'm hoping he's happy. 
You said you broke the priceless lion statues. Yes, I did. I utterly decimated them with my wanton destruction. What do you mean that was part of the contract? Customer is always right. Forget about your paycheck. What? You lied to me. He told me to break the statues. I had enough. You're fired. Don't let me see you again. Bunch of trained bears would do a better job. <laughs> Ivan, I like you. I know that you've just fired me, but I still like you. You're, you're, you're awesome. Right, find a new job. Ooh. Okay, I have, I, I've already got a new job. Look at this. Hey, I've heard the boss just fired you. Yes, he did. Don't worry about that. Um, I also left the job. The jerk pays terrible. Not mentioning that he smells like a homeless ape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> it smells like a homeless ape. I love it. I absolutely love it. How about we become partners and start our own company with who? With who? I mean, our own machines and tools. What do you mean who? What's who? I, I, I don't know what he was going to say there. Um, Not sure. I transferred some cash to your account. I also marked a nice property for sale on your GPS. Go there and buy the office. It should be perfect for our new company. Oh, and by the way, look for a parking sign near. You can deliver pickup truck there. This way, you don't have to go everywhere by foot. Sounds good to me. Right, uh, I need to go over here to the parking sign. What is this? Press enter to show hint. Parkings. Use parking signs to transport vehicles to your current location. You can also use them when vehicles get stuck. Close. Right, new tutorial, land properties. You can invest cash to buy land properties. You need to finish a series of tasks to get any profits from them. Use worker's senses default R to highlight task objects. It can show which part of the building is most vulnerable. What am I supposed to be doing over here? It says enter to show hint. I've looked at the hint. Oh, hang on. I need to go next. Uh, contracts. No, I don't need to go next. Right. We, we've uh, yeah, we, we've done all of those. Still on there. Uh, so we've got the parking bit right there. Is that the one that we want? No, it said G GPS. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Get out of here. Isn't that... Oh, no. Is, isn't that... I, I don't know. That, I'm, I'm sure that's something to do with New York. Um, right. So we've got these things everywhere. But if I go to a parking sign, it says that I can... Uh, how, how do I do this? To interact? All right. Deliver vehicle. Ah, that's what we want. Now we're talking. Can I drive? There we go. Yes! I'm liking this. Bit of country music. I no, don't. I wouldn't be able to list and I wouldn't be able to name any country singer or band or anything even remotely similar anywhere in the world. Um, I do know the song Cotton Eye Joe. Is that country? I don't really know. Um, that's about as country as I've ever gotten. But I like in this. It fits quite nicely. Go on, round right, and go on. Ooh. Ooh. You know, it's a good job that these vehicles don't actually take damage. At least that's what I'm thinking. So, we can... we. Oh, handbrake. Handbrake turn. Come on. Round we go. Okay, handbrake turn doesn't work very well. Never mind. Ignore the fight. Ignore the handbrake turns. We want to go over here. This is the place that we're after. Apparently, this is going to be our new location. Um... My parking skills are excellent, even if I do say so myself. So how do I... Oh, you press F. Right, F is the default key to do everything in this game. You've got to press F. That's all you need to know is press F and you are sorted. Sunshine. Now, we go over here. So scenario, we want this one discovered. Your office. Construction area, authorized personnel only. So go to this one. What does this say? Uh, enter to show hint, land properties. Um, right, use... Yeah, okay, we, we don't want that. So what do I need to do here? I'm going to go there. I guess I... Do I press F here? There we go. You need to set your office here to start working. Uh, buy. $10,000. Yes, I accept. I got 13000 I now got 3215 Progress 0% done. Development stage 1 of 1. No materials required. Remove the plank barricades from the windows and door. Demolish the ruins. I accept. Demolish ruins. Right, where are ruins? We, if we press R for R, ooh, lots of things to break down. There's the ruins. There are ruins. Now, if I take out that pillar right there, bad things are going to happen to me, aren't they? Oh! <laughs> a 
I care. I don't have my own strength. I brought the hammer back and it knocked down the wall behind me. But look! Physics! Physics! That is so cool! Proper physics! Like physics that actually like have things fall down. That is so freaking awesome! Like seriously, so awesomely cool. That is fantastic. Okay, I really don't want to be doing <laughs> Look at it coming down! This is awesome! Ah, oh, I am so glad this game is here. I am so happy. Perhaps if we stand, I'm going to stand underneath this bad boy right here and I'm going to hit it. Ooh, that would have been painful. You see that? That came down right on top of me. That, that wouldn't have been good. This is so much fun. Right, we've demolished the ruins. Oh, that was fantastic. Proper physics and everything. The way they're falling apart. This is just beautiful. Now, if I hit that, it's going to go through the window, isn't it? Ah, I see. We're just knocking them down carefully. We're not, we're not like being super violent with these. We're just being careful. So I need to go around all the windows, knock all of these down. Because they're no longer boarded up. This is my new company. Now, I can't really call it Frithgar Incorporated because I'm Frithgar. Um could call it Frithgar and Sons, except that he's not my son. He's, he's, my, he's my business partner. So we, we got to come up with a better name for our company. So what I'm going to say is it doesn't really matter this time because we're just in the demo. We're just exploring the game. We're just seeing what it has to offer. But what I want from you, ladies and gentlemen, is in the comment section down below, I want suggestions for what we will call a brand new startup company when this game gets going. When the game is here... In full when we've got everything here that we could possibly want we've actually got the real deal right in front of us and we've got our greedy grubby little hands on it and we're able to destroy everything we get our hands on what do we call the company I don't really want to call it Frithgar Incorporated I don't particularly like the idea of going Frithgar Inc because we've done that before and I want to do something new and something fresh so suggestions in the comments section, I may even do some uh, do a vote on this. I don't really know, but that's what I want. Right, all tasks done. Uh, press enter. Here we go. Right, so we've done that, so we can finalise that little bit. There we go. Development stage done. Okay. Phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. What do you want? How's it going? No worries, dude. I just had a lot of fun. You wouldn't believe it. Me, the hammer. It was a match made in heaven. It was glorious. Uh, I need to press that button. There we go. You got it done already? Awesome. Thanks, dude. No worries. Now I need some heavy machinery to receive better control. <laughs> heavy machinery! Yes! Now we're talking. Now we're talking a hammer upgrade. Yes, I marked machine shop on the map. Cheers, dude. I appreciate this. You can either drive there or open map and use a taxi by clicking on a location for fast travel. Right, uh, map. I'm going to press M. M doesn't work. M does not work. M is broken. What do we do? What do we do? Um, how do I, how do I get the map? I, 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 want, I want the map. I want the map. If I press, ooh, right. Press escape. You've got properties. You've got market, jobs, workers, rating vehicles, and then game um, alterations and stuff as well. We've got everything. Is it even an airport? Airport not available in beta. Uh, we've got question marks. We've got bits and pieces around. Is that me? I don't know. Um, oh, your office. We are over here. So what are these question marks? Your office tool shop. Airplane, no. Scenario, pickup truck. There's so much stuff here. Old casino, garage, renovated shop, your office. So where is, is it the renovated shop? It might be. Yes, except you have arrived at renovated shop. Is this the one that I want? Oh, shift to run. Shift to run, excellent. That's what we want. Uh, there's the casino. Play pool at Joe's. Where is by bulldozer in machine shop? Right, it's 945 meters that way. Let's go back to the escape menu. Right, it's this way. It's all, it's all the way over here. Oh, ooh, zoom, zoom out and around and and go machine shop, tool shop. <gasps> so many nice places. Yes, except you have arrived. Machine shop. Look, look. Uh, it says elevate, but if I'm not mistaken, that is case. I am pretty certain that is a case. Could be wrong. It could be a cat, actually. Is that a cat or a case? Actually, I think it's a cat. I think the color is a cat. 
Uh, anyway, uh, I need to buy a bulldozer. I don't want a bulldozer. I want that one there. I want to put a great big wrecking ball on that one. And I want to have the ultimate hammer. We will get there. We will get there. Calm down, Frith. Okay, I, I, I need to calm down just a little bit. Let's go on here. Nope. <laughs> no, don't, don't hit the shiny paintwork. What are you doing? Mend it. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Durability 100 of 100. It's okay. Vehicle... Vehicle in not port. What? Huh? How do I do this? Oh, right. I go here and... There we go. That's what you need to do. Right. Uh, bulldozers are used to demolish wooden structures and push sand. Buy that. Only $2,000. Oh, yes. We bought a bulldozer. Uh, press enter to answer the incoming call. You've got the machine, but to use it, you still need to pass the ex exam. Nobody said anything about exams. I finished with exams 20 years ago, and I've managed to get through life by avoiding them from then on. We shall see. Right, there should be an exam sign near you. Interact with it, and you will start the bulldozer exam. Right, okay. Okay, this is what we've got to do. Sacrifices must be made. Sometimes you need to make sacrifices in order to advance in life, so this is the sacrifice that we're going to make. Time to check your bulldozer driving skills. Accept. Vehicle exam. Bulldozer has been delivered. Now, where do we go? Uh... Ah, right, so we've got to demolish, we've got to run over, um, right, drive over the checkpoints, demolish the brick walls, flatten the dirt piles, and go up to this one. Oh yeah, we got rock music, now that is very, very noisy, that is very, very noisy. I'm going to just dial that sound down just a teensy, teensy bit. There we go. Music is up a little bit, and the sound is down a little bit. Now, whether or not I'm going to get um, had up uh, by YouTube for the music, I don't know. Sometimes music in games has copyright, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, we basically, we're, we're, we're just going to hope and pray. Right, so just um, press the mouse button. Two different mouse buttons, you just press them to, to do this. That's fine. Okay, and then it's the keys for forwards and backwards. Kapow! And I just damaged my, um, my machine. It's fine around here. You know, I'm guessing that that means that what we're supposed to do is this. And just gently, gently push forward. No. Okay. Ha ha ha! Fantastic! Right, we'll do that and then we come over to here. I need to go through that checkpoint right there. Ignore that checkpoint a minute because we want to come around here and we want to demolish down this next wall. Right here, I've just taken some more damage. Probably just got a brick through the windscreen there. It's, probably, it's, it's, it's not a good idea to get bricks through the windscreen. I missed one. Missed the checkpoint. Don't miss the checkpoints. There we go. Right, now spin round like this. Back over. And I'm going to lower this one down. And we're going we're gonna to take this one down the bottom like that. I know that I'm damaging my machine. I don't care. I don't care. Now, I got to, I got to run over some of these bits here. Is that the next checkpoint? Uh, I don't think it matters which checkpoint to use. I think you can, you've just got to... Ah, I got to, I, right, so you, you just got to drive around, flattening all the stuff. Look at that. Flatten away. It's kind of an arcade type game. So it's, it's not like full physics and everything being absolutely perfect. Which is really, really good. I actually really love that about it. It makes the game... You haven't got to concentrate so much on getting all the tiny physical details perfect. There's enough physical details in there to be really cool and great fun. But at the same time, you, there's enough room to have loads and loads of fun with it. So we got there, we got our, we've done our exam, and that exam was actually far more fun than any exam I remember ever taking. That is brilliant. Right. Done. Phone's ringing again. I passed my exam, dude. I think you are ready. There should be some contracts available in menu at jobs tab. Finish them to get more cash. Okay, why am I not working? Well, I've provided you the cash. I'm more an investor, but don't worry, I'll give you tips while working on obtaining better deals abroad. Abroad? Contracts aren't the only way of getting cash. Try collecting scrap with your pickup or buy a robot with jackhammer to break some rocks with gold nuggets. Check green circles on the map. <gasps> There's so much to do here. So basically, he's given us a little bit of cash, and then he gets to just sit and do nothing, and we have to do everything else. Earn company rating D. Okay. I got the hiccups. Don't like having the hiccups. Right, what am I supposed to do with this thing? 
I don't really want to drive it around too much, but, you know, I can. Do I need to take this to another job? Do I, do I have it delivered somewhere? Oh, no, you go to the park signs and then it, it will deliver stuff to you, doesn't it? Is that how it works? I'm not quite sure. Let me jump out a minute. Right, so we've got our vehicle right there and uh, interact, escape. What was it? I can't remember what he said that we had to do. We got There's a question mark over here. We must first discover this location to be able to get a taxi. Do you want to set a waypoint back? No, I don't want to set any waypoints, not yet. Um, what did that dude tell us to do? Okay, I can't press enter. Um, worker senses. Track doesn't do anything. E just does that. T. Nope. Right, so we, we got to go and do some jobs. Where do I get the jobs from? I think I need to go over to here. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. I remember. We just need to go over here, and then we can go back. I think we've got these question marks here. But if we go to our office first, except, yes, I want to get a taxi back here. And then if I go over this way, I can get, I think, the bulldozer delivered over here. Click on that. No, uh, click on it like that. There we go. Deliver vehicle. Right, deliver that one. Bulldozer has been delivered. There it is. Looking sweet. Looking pretty good. Uh, right. Tutorials. Interact. I don't want to do that. Null and Nulland Financial. So if we go here. So we've got that one over there. And we've got that one there. We've got the renovated shop, the garage, and the old casino. Uh, how do you get... Look, oh, look for green circles. It said green circles. Right. So we want to go to the green circle. I'm going to get into my pickup. I knew that it was green circles. I really did. Right, I want to go into the pickup. There we go. We've got our rock crash radio. And there's a green circle. Oh, wasn't there a green circle down this way? Once again, Hrithgar is trying to find his way around on a map. And once again, this is not going to end well, is it? Never does. It never, ever ends well. Right, so we are... We need to... We need to... Oh, basically, we just keep going. We just follow this road. There's a green circle all the way down there. But where is it that we've got to go? Now, you all want to know. You all want to find out. It does! Full collision on vehicles. No! No! Stop put no. I am I am supreme! Stop it! Stop! Urgh. He's he's pushing right. We'll be bringing the bulldozer down here. We will be bringing the bulldozer back down here, and we will be having a chat with you, sir. We will definitely be bringing the bulldozer and having a wee chat with him. We can also Try and build up a little bit of speed and see if we can do this again. Now, there's got to be... Oh, we're, we're driving right over it at the moment, but I just want to see if there's another vehicle here. There is not. All right. Ignore that. Let's bring this one on round. Let's test out some of what we can do with the vehicle. We've got a nice open map. It is properly open map. We can explore all over the place. Oh, it looks like we've actually got a job that we can do over here. Oh. Our vehicle is impervious to all damage, which is... Actually, I'm quite pleased about that. So we'll come whizzing down here and stop right there. F to get in and out of the vehicle and interact with it and all of that. Let's go to here. Earn company rating. Yeah, I'm in the question mark. If I go... Oh, no, that's my pickup. It's just showing me where the pickup is. Worker senses. There's something over there. So how do you get the jobs? You just go to the green bits? I really know. Uh... Try that one. What does this do? I'm using it. I don't know if I've done anything. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, I don't think I've got the right tools for the job. I think I need to go and buy more tools. Because I'm looking around here. I see that job there. But I, how do you actually get the job in the first place? Oh, no, 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 no. He said you can go and you can get scrap metal. So that's one thing that you can do is you can go and get scrap metal. So that's where we get scrap metal from. But I need to earn company rating D. There's oil on the floor there. So I want to try and get a job then, don't I? Where do I get jobs from? It's you again. I remember you. You were nothing but a nuisance. Right, I go there. There is a job. Look, see, I remember now. It's the board. It's out the front. Yeah, he told us right at the beginning, and um, I pay so much attention to everything that I do. That's that's how, that's how I, I found out. 
Um, because I remembered and I paid attention. Discovered gas station toilet. So we go up to this one and we press F to interact. This job will be a dirty one. We bought some public bathrooms, but they're in a terrible state. Remove the toilets and wall tiles. I accept. Contract. Preparation. Right, what do we got to do? There, deliver in there. And we go in here, so we've... Ooh, right. We're working at night. Is there a way to skip the night? Can we go, can we go and sleep? I'm not sure how you skip the night. I want to I, I sleep. Um... I don't really want to work all through the night. You know, we haven't actually looked around our office yet. I'm just wondering if there is anywhere that I can sleep in my office. Do I have... I'll tell you what. For a one-man band who's got a silent partner who's supplying cash, this place is pretty darn swish. Look at it. Look at the decor in here. This is fantastic. How can we afford a place like this? I don't think we can. I think something dodgy is going on around here. I mean, look at these bathrooms. That is that is pretty nice. I am pleased to be a part of it. We have got some seriously big bathrooms around here. We got one there. We got one back there. Bathroom, bathroom. Huge, great big room up there. There was more bathrooms down here. Uh, the, the bathroom in there. It's bathroom in there. What is it? The bathrooms around here. If it, I, I think that maybe we some of our employees are incontinent, so we we kind of got to. We, we got to handle that by having extra bathrooms everywhere. We put them in all over the place. There's more bathrooms down here. <laughs> I've never seen so many bathrooms in one building. It's obscene. There's something seriously wrong with this. I don't know. It just feels wrong that there are so many bathrooms. There's also a lot of meeting halls as well. Why, why do we need so much space? It's only me. <gasps> games room. We can build a games room. We're going to have to do that. Right, what are you down here? Um... Right, I can't do anything to you. Can't interact with you either. Okay, that's fine. I'm still trying to figure out how to spend the night. There's a list of jobs in the escape menu that you can look at. We've got gas stations, toilets, uh, vintage saloon, underground reservoir. We've got all sorts of things that we can do here. But I don't have any way I can spend the night. I want to be able to skip the night. I don't like working at night time. Well, I've not been able to find a way to skip the night, so we're just going to carry on work. Uh, maybe we've got lights. No, we, we don't appear to have any torches or anything like that. So we've got to remove, uh, we've got to take out some radiators. So take you, and the radiators have got to be dumped in here. So I can do it like that. Can I pick them up? Can I throw them? Because you, you can throw things in Gold Rush by just running and jumping. So well, let's try this. Go like that, and mm, no, really, it kind of just dumps it on the ground. Just lets it go rather than um, throwing it and allowing you to propel it forward. But it's still working. It's still doing stuff. So we chuck those in there. We've got one more in here to grab. There we go. And dump you out in there. Right, that's that bit sorted. So then we've got to do the electric wires. What What are you doing here? Can I Can I interact with you? Can I turn you on? Lighting. I want lighting. Apparently not. Uh, now, we press R for R. R for R. And then we just find these bits of wiring. And we demolish them. There's one. Nailed it. Another one over there, sorted, and there's two over in this building over here, and then we get our cash. So we got one there, and where's the other one? Nope, that's pipes. That's not it there. Can I get it without actually... Oh, no, it's right there, right in front of me. Contract demolition is all done. Demolish bathroom armature. Demolish bathroom tiles. Right, so if we press R, you will see that we have to demolish all of this stuff. All of this stuff. Go on. You can demolish. You're good at this stuff. You can get rid of that. I want to break these sinks. I want to do this in daylight, though. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. How do I skip the night? I've got to find a way to skip the night. I want to be able to do this during daylight when I can see properly. Ah, as soon as you get to 2100, the light comes on, and then you can sort of see a bit better. So let's start smashing some sinks and see what happens. Ah, yes. Yes. Break. Destroy! Break! <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty cool. I'd like a different sound to come up from smashing the sinks. Because if, if, if anybody has ever done that in real life, actually properly smash a sink, trust me, the sound is something it is glorious to behold and to listen to. It is absolutely wondrous. You will, you will never find a sound to compare to the sound of smashing a sink. It is just fantastic. It really is. 
So I would very much like to be able to see that. And here we've got a load of tiles that we need to break as well. So we just go along here like this and bust all of these tiles off the wall. If I take them at the bottom, it looks like they're all just falling down. Which does make life a lot easier for us. There we go. There we go. Ha ha! Sorted! Right, that was actually really, really quick. Uh, if I go... Uh, oh, yeah, we go. We've got a load of them over there. You can crouch. How do you crouch? Uh, C. There we go. Crouch. Right, press and hold C to crouch. Uh, just go along there and take out the bottom ones. That will knock the rest of them down. They all fall down. Job done. I'm going to hit the door along here as well. So the door, you've actually got to break the whole thing. All the way through. Right. That one is now done and out. Have I got... What else have I got in here? Um, right, it's just a sink there. I've got I've got some bits at the back there. Looks like there's... Uh, see, there's a few tiles on the wall and then we've got the toilets. The actual toilets themselves. We can bust these. I really hope that they were at least cleaned within the last, you know, nine, ten months. Because otherwise this is... This is going to be pretty grim. It's going to be pretty nasty what we've got to do in here. But it's all right. We can work through it. So there's one toilet done. Another one here. Take that through. Go on. Go on, you can do this. Bust that one right down, and then we can take out the bottom of the tiles over there, and one over there. This is fantastic. There goes the door. And get that last little bit of the door. I think I've got the whole door now. Is that the whole door? Let's just crouch down there a little bit. Okay, now I've definitely got the whole door. Take all of this toilet out. Just keep hammering away. Just keep going through. And you smash through the bottom, and then you're done. To get to the bottom of it, you sort it. That's all you got to do. Right, that's that's all taken out. That's all taken care of. And over here. Have I got anything? Uh, right, I've got some stumps left. Sort of. Bits there. Right, yeah. So we've, we've got some little, like, bases left. So the pedestals there. They can come out as well. Uh, no, I don't want to press I want to press that one. Right, what else we got in here? There's... Oh, mirrors! <gasps> yes! Seven years bad luck. Right, there's some bad luck. Let's keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get a whole lot of bad luck from this one. So far, I haven't felt... I haven't... I haven't felt... I haven't felt the repercussions of it. How long does it take to get your seven years of bad luck? How long does it take before it sort of activates? Anybody know? I haven't got a clue. I break mirrors all the time. Um, so far, it's not happened. Go over here, and then we can keep going through there. Right. Oh, a little bit more up there. Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll press... Ah, oh, nope. It looks like most of it's in the other one. We've got a few, like, little stumps left at the bottom, but generally speaking, I think that's okay. You can, we'll, we'll, we'll go on to the next bits, and we'll see what we can do here. If I just start going through and knocking out the bottom of these tiles here, and we'll see what that does. I got some... Got some more mirrors on the wall. What are these? What are these? Oh, this is part of the armature, this is. Take out those mirrors. There we go. And I'm going to crouch down here, and I'm going to get the base of this sink. Like this. It takes the whole sink out. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Now, looking around. Well, we've got a load of tiles over here that we want to take out. So if I, if I come down to the bottom, and I hit those out all the way along like that. Go on, a little bit more. We can do this standing up, actually. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make it a lot easier. Go through there. Tiles is the easy bit. This is this is the really simple bit. We've got another piece over here. This one I will crash down, because it's right down to the floor. Tiles are very, very simple. we got... Uh, that's, that's the tiles done. 294 of 294. Going around. I've got armature left. This is all, it's, all that's left is armature, which is the door... And it shows you the weak points, doesn't it, as well? You look through and you find the weak points. So we'll go over to this side first and we'll take out these sinks. And the way that we're going to do this this time is we're going to take out the base like this. And I'm going to press R. Right. You smash those bits there and then it takes out the rest of it. We go down there like that. Look, see? If I take that one out, whole thing's come down. There we go. Look at that. It's brilliant. Actually, you've got like full structural integrity and everything on it until you, you take out the base of it. 
So we're 251 on this. I, I think you don't like literally have to do it every tiny bit. Again, this is another great thing because it means that you, you don't sort of get bored having to go and get, you know, those last, there's always the last little tiny bits when you're doing something like this. There's a few bits around that are left and those are the bits that like really bore you to tears when you have to go and get them. I've got 279, take out this door, 281, and I take out this toilet here. I suspect that this is going to be most of it. I just got five points left to find. And I got a whole door here. I've got bits that are left. I've got other pieces elsewhere that I can do. Task done. Look at that. See? Right. The job was the dirty one. Finalize. Demolish the bathroom armature. We got $1,500 and a bonus of $504. $2,000. That's not bad at all. Far better than what our previous employer was giving us. Now then, are there any other jobs around here? There's none none there. Is that our vehicle? Oh no, there's our vehicle over there. So we've got, we need to earn company rating D. It doesn't appear that you can go and sleep the night anywhere. We've got that, the job there is done, the gas station toilets. But if we look around, there are other jobs. But you look up here, this is where you go. Vintage saloon, underground reservoir, and Roswell saloon. Uh, Roswall saloon. Roswall. Okay, um... Sounds a little bit weird. This one requires a bulldozer and a sledgehammer. This one requires a, but we don't have the abrasive saw. We would need to go and buy that from the tool shop. And we want a vintage saloon as well. It's a bulldozer job. Okay, vintage saloon. We need to find a vintage saloon. We go on here and then we go old casino, garage, renovated shop, old gas station. Oh, is it? It must be next to it. Must be two of them next to each other, is it? Garage there, gas, gas toilets. Uh, maybe it's on one of these others could be um oh actually look look this place this, this place is miles away ah right if I, I can't you must first discover this location do you want to set the waypoint in this position no i don't want no no back right so we've actually got it you've got to go you've got to drive around to be able to find these um places so that's a gas station toilets renovated shop garage oh let's go over to the old casino what's uh jobs Vintage Saloon. Where is the Vintage Saloon? Show on map. Ah, it's that one out there. Right, we'll go to that one first. That seems to be the, the best one to go to next. Go and take a look out there. And, right, where are we going? Which way are we going? We go, we'll press enter to refuel zero dollars. Uh, right, it's very late at night and it's very dark and I can't see very well. And I'm also thinking that it's going to be time to uh, put this one on hold for a bit because it does actually look like we can save our progress in this demo, which is brilliant because if we can save our progress, it means that we can come back here and we can do another episode in the demo before the actual full game comes out and is, is given life and is brought to, is, all of it is brought to fruition. Discovered the Vintage Saloon. Let's climb out. Let's go and take a look. And if I go, I'm going to press F there. We use this old saloon as tourist attraction. However, in this state, it can collapse by any moment. Demolish the saloon. I accept. So we need a hammer. Take out the chairs to the container. Demolish the tables. Break the windows. Why do we need to take the chairs out if we're going to go through this whole thing with a bulldozer? Can anybody please explain to me why we've got to do this? I don't want to be carrying the furniture out. I want to destroy the entire thing with a bulldozer. We will, of course, destroy everything with the bulldo dust control. I don't want dust. I don't care about dust control. Some demolition sites require dust control to decrease dust levels. Spray the building with water before the demolition. Pick up the hose and use the alternative fire button, right mouse button. Right. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be... Where's... It said something about... Oh, it's there. It's right there. Look at that. We've got to do that and then... Incoming call... So you got your own company? Stay away from my clients. <laughs> I don't think so, Ivan. Is this is all fair? Is all is fair in love and war and you know work as well? As they say, dog can never eat a bear. You should look for a job that suits you more. Ballerina, perhaps. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Right. Uh, nice. So we spray this all over the place, damps it all down, and then no dust. Brilliant. How much have we got to do? Have we, have we got to just cover everything? Take out the chairs. Right. Uh, let's ignore that bit for a minute. 
F. We will drop that down. We, we've done that. We've gotten everything soaking wet. Uh, we need to finish taking out these chairs and dump them into this one over here. I want to get that bulldozer and just try it out on a building before we finish this episode. And then we will come back and we will do another episode very, very soon. This game looks like it's going to be one of my favorites for quite a while, I should think. I don't, I don't know how long. It depends, you know, what else we've got in the game. But um, at, at least at least a while, I suspect that this game is going to be firmly on my favorites list. Let's bring that one out there. So that's, that's the last chair. We've done that. We need to demolish the tables and break the windows. I can break windows. I can break windows. Look at this. I'm breaking the windows. Another one. Yes. Yes. Break the windows. <laughs> breaking windows is awesome. Come over here. Uh, no, not you. You're already done. You're already done. There's some more. More windows. And there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can break glasses. Oh, this is brilliant. Just going along breaking old beer bottles. Fantastic. Um, I need to break the tables. Okay, that was rewarding and fun. Ignore the rest of that. That was definitely rewarding and fun. All we got to do is just smash it down like this. Ha ha ha! Look at him! Look at him go! Task done. More windows. Yes! Keep going with these windows. This is so cool. This is brilliant! Keep going. I love doing this. Real life as well as in-game. I love breaking windows. There's just something so satisfying about going around and smashing windows. It's, it's just awesome. Contract demolition. We now need to demolish a fence with the bulldozer and we need to do the other bit with the bulldozer as well. So let's go and get our bulldozer over here. We need to do this. We need to go over to that bit right there and we go interact, deliver vehicle. Bulldozer has been delivered. No, it hasn't. Oh, yes, it has. It has. It didn't lie to me. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, yeah. We got some country music going. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, look, destroying it. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, we're making dust. We're making dust. We cannot make dust. Uh, okay, we, we, we're going to climb out. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, we, need, to, we, we need to damp it down. Damp it down a bit. Calm it. Calm it down. Let's go and douse everything in water. I don't know if I should be standing in here because, um, yeah. Bad things can happen. I've already knocked out most of the main supports. So this is going to, going to take a while. It's going to take a definite while. Uh, right. Let's come on round. And look at all of those. Oh, that bit's up there. Does it, it, is it drying out as we go? Have, have, we got a, like, have we got a limited timer on the water? I suspect that we might. It would make sense, I guess. Let's just finish spraying this around. Here we go. Right. I've worked some magic with the hose. Let's go and get rid of that one. And we'll come over here, jump back in. Country music, here we go. Right, uh, I'm actually gonna lift, lift that one up a bit. There we go. Money coming in, money coming in, demolish. Look at the bonus, look at the bonus. You see that come? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 destroy it, my beauty, destroy it. <laughs> oh, this is so, so awesome. Brilliant. Uh, I can't reach that bit. It's a bit that I can't, I know what I need to do. I need to go around here. Round the back. Come on through. Go on. If I lower that one down, does that like level out these patches? Oh no. We're just gonna have to go up and over. Up and over. Keep going. Go on, you can do this. Is that fence part of the one that I yeah, this is the fence that I gotta demolish. Okay. And now I'm just gonna hit the corner of this. Ram. <laughs> just go at speed, that's all you gotta do, is you just do this thing at speed. It doesn't matter. Who cares if we're destroying our bulldozer that we're 83% left on the bulldozer. It's probably not the best way to treat our machinery. I don't care. Look at this. <laughs> we're making a bit of dust. We're making some dust. There we go. It's all coming down now. It's all coming down. 
I've, I've, most of the dust is not going to be a major issue. There's a little bit of dust over here that's becoming a problem. If I can just take out the edges of this. Okay, we've got a bit of fence there. I'll get rid of that one. Bye-bye fence. And if I come in here, it's going to take down all of the roof and everything all the way through. Excellent. There is a bit of dust coming up. We're going to have to be a little bit careful about this. We're going to have people complaining to us. We don't want that. And you. Oh, yes. It's all falling down. So amazing. So, so amazing. So beautiful. So wonderful. And over it goes. A little bit more. A little bit more task done. I just got to do the fence now. Go all the way round. Uh, if I lower that one down like that, and then we can reach the fence. Can't demolish those signs. I just got to go around here like this. Take this fence down. 15. There's two more. There's one over there. And there's one over on the other side. We can do this. And we've done the demolition work with the bulldozer. Tasks done. That is just awesome. I love this game. I really do. Right, let's just stop there. I'm just going to do enter to finalize while I'm in this thing. It's ultimately, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've read all that. And we're done. Look at that. Cost, including the dust cleaning, minus $37. But we did get 4,727. I think that's probably okay. I think that's probably pretty good. Well, we had a lot of fun. This building is now completely gone and completely leveled. But I think the time has come for us to say fare thee well because it looks like there is a lot else that we can do. Uh, oh, there's metal there. I wonder if we can... Is that a piece of metal that we can take? You can sometimes go and get, you can find gold, you can find scrap metal in the desert. There's all sorts of things you can do, but it does say that you can save the game. So I'm going to do another episode on this one. I want suggestions for what we should name our company, if we can name it. Um, I don't actually know if we can name it properly. I, we'll find out. We'll find out if we can name the company. But I want suggestions and ideas from people, and we will see what we can come up with. Do you want more of this? I suspect you might, but obviously let me know. If you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.